What is the single worst movie you sat through hoping it would get better? But didn't. After Earth with Will and Jaden Smith. It was the double combo of being bad but getting the sense that they thought it would be groundbreaking. You know it's bad when a father and son have absolutely zero screen chemistry. 365 days. It got worse. ARR you lost baby G or L? Edit. Hate to be that bitch. But thanks for the upvotes and the gold. The new Doolittle movie with Robert Downey Jr. The climax of the movie is him pulling a bagpipe out of a dragon's ass. I was just sat there like. Who approved this to be made? Pulling a bagpipe out of a dragon's ass. I have never wanted to watch this movie more than right now. But I feel like I'd be left with more questions than answers. I just watched the scene based on this thread. Apparently there's a white duck whose whole purpose for existing is to sound like a sassy black woman. Mean Girls 2. Thought it was going to be like the first one. Ended up with a Walmart version. There's a Mean Girls 2. Unfortunately. I feel like maybe they should have just called it Meaner Girls. Allegiant. Nothing actually happens in the film. I could have watched paint dry for two hours and it would have been a more productive use of my time than watching that film. Super disappointing especially since the first two films were fairly decent. They actually didn't finish the series because the rating for it was so bad. There was talks of doing it as AT. V mini series I do believe. But that was kicked to the curb as well. Edit. Wow guys. Thanks. My most upvoted comment was about a great book series made into shitty movies. Didn't Shailene Woodley say if it went to cable she was out? I thought that was what put a bullet in it. Took the family to see it because the kids read the books. Your was just plain bad. To be fair the books fell off a cliff as well. The first one was a passably decent teen dystopia tale. But the second was confused in what it wanted to be. And it just kept getting more and more muddled and weird as the pages turned. I Know Who Killed Me starring Lindsay Lohan. OMG I was a stupid teenager and thought she was so cool so I actually spent some of my parents hard earned money to get it on pay per view and it was so oh trash. Y'all ever seen Slenderman? Absolute shit show. As soon as the credits were rolling in the theater a guy in the back yelled well that was shit. I agree. There's nothing interesting in that movie. You should rather go watch Marble Hornets on YouTube if you are interested in good Slenderman content. Marble Hornets was terrifying. Until episode like 185 or something when it was 3 months between releases and I couldn't keep track of what the hell was going on. There is a video with the whole series. It's around 8 hours long if you want to watch the whole thing easier. The Dark Tower. The only reason I didn't leave was cause I was in southern Florida for a trip and went to the movies to get out of the heat for a while. The movie AC was the only good thing I found with that movie. The makers of that movie have forgotten the faces of their fathers. It was horrible. It was nothing like the books and just sucked. You could have made each book its own movie but no. Let's cram like 14 huge novels into a 2 hour movie. Not even that. It was supposed to be a continuation of the journey. It was PG 13 and 90 minutes. Fuck outta here. There's so many movies on this list where I'm thinking. How did you not know that was going to be awful? As a former blockbuster employee. You have no idea how bad the average person's shitty movie radar is. I know people who automatically gravitate toward the shittiest movie in the theaters. I don't know how they do it. But come on. It has Adam Sandler in it. He was so funny in that movie 25 years ago that I saw half of once. Titanic 2. 
not the parody that appeared last year. But the 2010 feature film for which I would love to see the manager. Underscore 2 underscore film film. Edit. For all who commented this is also a parody, that doesn't make it any better. Wanna watch a good bad movie? Go see Iron Sky. Holy shit what? The company ended up making the Sharnado series and Z Nation and Black Summer. They've come a long way. Transformers. The Last Night. For a movie that's called Transformers. They sure do put a huge emphasis on everything except them. Optimus is in the movie for like 8 minutes. And it's painfully long. I almost walked out watching this movie. I was on a plane. I seem to have a foggy remembering of a Percy Jackson movie coming out at some point but I don't really remember much. Don't try to remember. It was bad. Having read the books first. It was bad. BF said he liked it. Having not read the books. As an aside. He explained what he could remember of the second movie. And I learned that the movie books 2 to 5. 365 days. Although I didn't really hope it would get better. It's just a terrible Wattpad story making absolutely no sense. Honestly the only reason it made money was because it's basically a porno. 90% of the audience watched it for the boat scene. Fantastic for 2015. That movie is a dumpster fire of epic proportions but I wanted to see what they did with Doom so I stayed till the end. But they fucked him up too. Edit. 2 instead of 2. I struggled to finish that movie. Previous Fantastic Fours were better. The first two were bad in a fun way. 2015 was just kinda depressing. Artemis Fowl. What an absolute clusterfuck that movie was. Disney just skullfucked the source material to death and then set fire on the body. I haven't watched Artemis Fowl. But I have enjoyed watching YouTube reviewers losing their shit talking about Artemis Fowl. The Artemis Fowl butchering is sufficient reason to bring back corporal punishment. Nothing major. But a pinky or two. I once mixed up corporal and capital punishment in my high school psychology class. I couldn't apologize enough when I realized I had been talking in support of killing kids. And not just spankings. I guarantee you that your teacher was secretly thinking fuck yes. Independence Day. Resurgence. What a clever premise we adapt their tech to advance our civilization and can stand a chance when slash if they return. The movie was shit. I want to see the story of the African tribes fighting a brutal, decade long war against the alien survivors of that huge ship and ending up with a mountain of alien skulls. That's far more interesting than whatever the movie was actually about. I highly suggest reading the in-betweener book called Independence Day, Crucible. It lays out the 20 years between 1996 to 2016 and goes into the stories of those secondary characters like Jake and Umbutu and the African Ground War. And what happens with David and Connie. And also explains the fate of Steve Hiller Will Smith. It was such a cool gap filler to the train wreck of a movie that Resurgence turned out to be that novelization is also 10x better than the movie itself and has a completely different, awesome opening sequence. Skyline. Kept waiting for it to have a redeeming quality. Somehow just kept getting worse. This is the movie I first thought of. Nothing happened. Absolutely. Nothing. I could not have given a shit about the characters if I tried. It was so damn boring. But then. The last five minutes. What? The. Hell. I spent like 30 minutes ranting about this movie to my family after watching it LMAO. It had no right to be that shitty and boring and then throw that WTF ending out there. 
a wrinkle in time. Only reason I sat through it was that my brother watched it and said it was decent. Something weird and unusual happens for some reason. Then something unrelated. Weird and unusual happens for some reason. Repeat five times. The end. Nothing seemed to connect or have reason to it. Holmes and Watson. This is one of the rare movies listed that I can personally understand and relate to. Most listed are just blatantly bad movies from the jump. Zero hope that they would be anything near good. One person posted Battlefield Earth. LMAO. That was never going to be good in a realistic sense but I'm approaching gatekeeping here so I'll get to the point. Holmes and Watson is shockingly bad because it's made by and starring people that usually make good comedy. It was expected to be at least an average comedy movie and it is truly unwatchable. It's just so bad and not in a good bad way like Battlefield Earth or any just bad like every Adam Sandler movie made after 1998. HNW should have been good and it's truly shocking in how unfunny it is. I kept waiting for it to turn the corner of have some deep. Kaufman-esque reveal that would show how the previous hour has been one long build up to a punchline. Anything. Something. Yet. It just ended after a truly miserable 90-ish minutes. It felt like a 4-hour movie. The mark of a truly bad film haha. I convinced my parents that we should go see it for our annual Jewish Christmas tradition of a movie and Chinese food. The trailers were pretty funny. The guys in it have made some great movies in the past so it should be good. Nope. The three jokes in the trailer were the only three jokes in the movie. It was just awful. At least the Chinese food was good.